Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. September means muskies, and muskies mean Longville, Minnesota. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! Big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you guys? Oh my awesome. god. Yes, folks, it's September, and that means musky time for Pete and John and Rusty. What is so attractive about the month of September for musky fishing? I love it. They're still biting, fast-moving stuff. And in general, when we get the cool down this time of the year, you have a shallow movement as well. So there's some new fish showing up, a little easier to fool. You can still get them on topwater bucktail jerk bait, but fast moving baits, they tend to fight real hard. And we got our buddy Rusty, of course, <laughs> in Longville, Minnesota, is my favorite destination for musky fishing. And we're on Leech Lake today, but you know, you should mention that there's a lot of other great musky lakes in the area. It's you all know, good. You know, John, within about a 20 mile radius of Longville, there's more fishable musky water than anywhere else in Minnesota. Longville's kind of the hub, and we're, we're right in the center of it today. Well, we got a special guest with us today. Blake is not with us today. She has been replaced by Josh Tigan. Yeah, it, his hair's not <laughs> quite as long. He's not quite as good looking, but uh, he can fish. No, we'll have a lot of fun, and we get a couple of days, and uh, one thing I want to mention is we got some pretty heavy wind in the forecast, and that may crimp our style a little bit. Yeah, we got wind, but uh, we'll deal with it, John. We always do. We'll have fun, right? We'll have fun in this big boat. We'll take care of that wind problem. Yeah, hey, folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. It's time to save big. During the Yamaha Let's Ride sales event. With as low as 2.99 APR for 36 months on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer for huge savings. Then, let's ride. What's really interesting, folks, about running a camp in the sticks or in the bushes, you guys call it up here, you need to rely on your machines, boats, trucks, everything. And you're a firm believer in Amsoil? I wouldn't get anything else. I, we've run that product for the last four and a half years, and what a difference on our equipment. And you got to remember, John, the boats, the motors, our trucks, they're not just running two days a week. They're running seven days a week full out high performance and with that new quick shot i love throwing that in our fuel the oil no breakdown best product by far Welcome back, folks. As we talked about at the top of the program, musky fishing up on Leech Lake in Longville, Minnesota. We got Josh along today, and like Pete said, you can throw a lot of different baits this time of year. I'm going to start with a uh, topwater bait, and uh, this is called a... This is a whale tail. Whale tail. But Pete, it is kind of fun this time of year, you know, and when we got four guys in the boat, you like everybody to try something different, right? Oh, absolutely, John. You know, whatever the number, everybody should start off with something different. Sometimes you'll get days where it really doesn't matter. It'll be a variety of baits, but sometimes it'll be really specific. And when you got more anglers trying different things, you can hopefully come to that pattern sooner. Coming hard? Yeah, not super hard, but that was a pretty big fish. How you doing in this wind, buddy? Fighting. <laughs> Fighting for everything I'm worth. I mean, we, we're fishing the calm side of the lake, folks, and you take a look at this wind. Are you you got gusts of 30, don't you? Oh, it's, yeah, it's at least 30, yeah. Pretty crazy. Well, huh? you might laugh when I tell you you're doing a good job. It is tough working structure in this wind. 
It's a little more fun when it's calmer, I gotta <laughs> say. Hey, Rusty, you know, you're one of the ones that taught me about this. When you even got wind and big waves like this, a surface bait is, is, is still a good technique, huh? I'll tell you, John, you can't have too big a waves to throw a surface. I've caught muskies in four foot waves that come right out the side of the way and, and take those surface baits. It never hurts to throw one. Hey, when you haven't seen a fish for a long time, you know, in situations like this, you're almost always going to get a night bite or an evening bite. Usually an evening bite will happen. If you're seeing fish during the day and they're a little sluggish, stay there till dark and maybe even 45 minutes after dark because they're going to feed at some time if they're moving like that. Nice hooks out there, Rusty. Nice job, buddy. Nice job, buddy. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, look at that muskie. Look at that muskie. I think he's look got her pretty musky. good. Holy cow, Rusty. There we go, one, buddy. There we go. Oh, boy, oh, that fish is not line. done yet. <laughs> see him rip all line there? Yeah. Pete, did you see him coming, Pete? Yeah. Yeah, That's it cool. was cool. All right, here he comes. And he did He did have another one earlier. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, that one decided he's, he's going to fight. <laughs> yeah, that is a he's fighter right fight. there, you guys. A beautiful <laughs> job, Rusty. <laughs> and this isn't a monster fish, but it's fighting like it's a monster fight. Okay. He just doesn't want to give up. No, he uh, is. You not. got him this time there, pal. Uh, he's a pretty good. Nice job there, Rusty. All right, buddy. Great job, man. <laughs> got to come back and see you, buddy. Hey. This is so cool to be back on Leech, as I said at the top of the program. But you've had, what, three follows, two hits on that bait. Two, two hits, and that one, I don't know, the rod loaded up. I set the hook, and he shook me somehow. But this one, I waited, waited, waited until I felt the weight again and pulled the trigger and got it. Now explain that to the folks. So when you're fishing a surface bait like that, you if you see one hit but don't feel it, you keep it tight. wait till you feel them. You okay. don't, when the explosion happens, you got to wait till there's... There's, your rod loads up before you pull the trigger. Now you've been doing this all your life. You yeah. still get keyed up though, <laughs> oh, yeah. don't you, buddy? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, no, that fish fought. He did. He didn't want to give up. Yeah. He's a teenager. He didn't just want to keep going. Well, not a big fish, but I'll tell you what, that's the way to start day yeah. one, buddy. <laughs> all right. We're going to hold this up. All righty. All right. Well, here we go, Swede. Yeah. Well, no, all right, Rusty. <laughs> yeah, well, no. I, I got to hold it up for Rusty, though. <laughs> hey, what do you think about 40, 41? About yeah. 41, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful fish. You they saw that happening, too, didn't yeah, you? Oh, yeah. Fatty. All right. Well, let's get him back. Let's see right. if we can get another one going here. I yeah. think he's uh, gone. No, <laughs> but that's one thing, Pete, that you've taught me over the 30 years we fished together. When they bite, get back in the water as fast as you can. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. That's for sure. We, you can see him gradually getting a little more active here, so let's try and take advantage of it. Oh. Fish! 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 Oh my gosh, was that a cool hit? Just was that a cool hit, Pete? That was an awesome hit, buddy. It. Right by the side of the boat, yeah, huh? Yeah, I was just starting to go into the figure eight, Oh John. my gosh, that is so cool, buddy. It's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there you go. Look at that muskie, you guys. Look at that muskie. Is that <laughs> awesome, Pete? It hit that big head hunter. The big head hunter? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, he look is at him peeling digging there, buddy. some line right now. What? He was peeling some line yeah. there. How big is that fish? Uh, he's not huge. Nice one though. Yeah. Really, oh. really fat. Oh wow. That was so cool, that hit, man. Okay, here yeah. he comes. Here he comes. Coast oh. him in, hopefully. Oh, look at that. He's not in the mood for coasting no. in. <laughs> I'll tell you what, both these fish have really fought, man. Yeah. Here he comes. Yeah, it really is something. <laughs> This is a this is a pretty nice fish. Yeah, I'm really really impressed with his build. Oh wow! Man. Come on! Oh Whoa. geez! <laughs> he didn't like that. <laughs> Get him in the clam, sweet! Get him in the clam! Get, Get him, him in the, the clam! clam. Here he is. Boy, is he a feisty guy, man! And yeah! He's in the clam. He's in the clam. Be All right, buddy. Four feet. Yeah, he's bigger than I thought. I think. Oh, what are you? Forty-six? Yeah, he's all. He's all of that. 
He might be a four footer, John. You never know. You, you just would... never know when Mr. Muskie's going to But was that me. hit cool? Oh, it was cool. The water just exploded behind the boat. And it, it, these fish have fought. Yeah, they really are fighting. I don't know why tonight they really got, got some attitude. Well, this is a big fish. This is a nice one. I think it's a four footer. Hey, well, how are you doing? I'm excited. I'm excited that too. That was fun. I, I told you I had a, I've had a long streak of everything getting away, so it was nice to have one bite and stay on the hook. And then I got to fight them around and the Swede <laughs> netted them. It was kind of That's fun. That's the thing about this night fish, and I've done it with you a few times. Those both side hits. It was amazing. I was just starting to turn, and all of a sudden, <laughs> dead on. stop. I mean, it was just over. All right, I got you. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at the build on that, that thing. That's a horse, John. That's that, a big one. Pete, that is an yeah. awesome, awesome <laughs> fish, wow. buddy. Look at the tummy there, man. That's yeah. all four feet. Wow. Yeah. That's pushing yep. 30 pounds, you guys. I'll tell you what, I can barely hold it. I'm trying to hold it out, you know, make it look big, right? Oh, wow, that but that's is gorgeous, a, man. Really, really a beautiful that fish. Is, oh, whoa, there we're you gonna go. let you go. Hey, buddy. Grab the bait you caught that on, that's worth talking about. But uh, again, those both side hits after dark, folks, it's just unbelievable. You can't, unless you experience it like that, right, Pete? Yeah, oh, it was amazing. I will, uh, this is a big head hunter, but a little tip here, just to make it run shallower, ground that off a little bit. So I know, you know, you don't want to mess around hitting weeds and rocks too much after dark. So a little modification, a little glow, glow tape strip so I see it coming. I didn't see the fish coming. No? <laughs> no, just And you were just it. about to make your turn? I was making the turn when he hit. Yeah. That's phenomenal, buddy. Congratulations. I mean, that's a beautiful fish. And I want to tell the folks, you know, we fished three hours with virtually nothing. And oh yeah, no, it's been it was real tough till right before dark here. Are you, is your hand okay, buddy? Yeah. No, well, show me that. Let me see. It's just blood. I love it. No, did he get you or? Yeah, I got Gil record when he when he thrashed right there, uh, and I threw him over the side. Well, that Livingston bait, man, you catch an awful lot of fish on that. And again, you know, after dark, this is where it really is worth talking about electronic bait sounds, isn't it? Yeah, it really is, John. You know, you don't know. It. Obviously, that fish could have hit without it, and, and maybe whatever. You know, it's one of those things that definitely doesn't hurt. If he was following it a while, could have made a difference. Well, you know? congratulations, man. You know, yeah. that, that's, oh, a, that that, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah. Well, buddy, we did, we had the first two lines in the front of the boat, and we had to watch the muskie experts in the back catch the fish today. They did. They kicked our butt. Hey, the both those hits were cool, though, weren't they? Oh, amazing. Hey, muskie king's back there. You got to be happy, right? Feels yeah. kind of good to be royalty. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your crown? My crown? I just put it right up here. Oh, okay. Hey, in all seriousness, guys, both those hits were awesome, and and Pete, that's just really so indicative of when those little windows open and the fish go nuts, you know? Boy, that is true. It was unfortunately quite brief, but really when you consider the activity early, other than one active fish kind of out of the blue, been stone dead, and then all of a sudden, bang. bang. It turns yeah. on like that, and then it turns off just as fast. Now, you guys got some lightning in the background. What do you say we go have a Johnsonville rope sausage? That sounds good to me, John. Mm-hmm. We are fishing Leech Lake out of Longville, Minnesota. An eight hour drive from Milwaukee, nine hours from Chicago, and three and a half hours from Minneapolis. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. And they also make this new EC 2.5 bait casting combo. This combo is fast action, lightweight, and is built to stand up to long term use. Amazing. Nothing better. It flat out allows me to catch more fish. Power steering and spot lock have revolutionized what we're doing on the lake now. Faster response times when, when steering. A spot lock. Man, it's second to none. Game changer. It's a game changer. Game changer.
The first thing that we're gonna do today is attack panfish in the basin of the lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. It's a night and day difference putting the bait mate on. Bait mate does work, doesn't it? It does. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractive. Check it out at baitmate.com. I'll tell you what, coming to Minnesota is such a treat because you are our Minnesota Johnsonville <laughs> expert. And you know, we have great different flavors of rope sausage and today we have polish kielbasa, kielbasa today yeah. and this is a hundred percent uh premium pork and uh, of course those great johnsonville spices those secret spices really taste good so what are you making you know this morning what i did is i got up and i, I browned a bunch of raw fries they have to be raw fries and then then you uh you know at the very end you put a little butter on them you know brown them in oil first then you put a little butter for flavor then i took the kielbasa and i put it on the grill and you pretty much have to stand there and watch it because you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to get all those juices flowing out of the sausage and then you just serve it on the top of the bed of raw fries and it's really good breakfast and for you soccer moms it's all pre-cooked so it's really fast boy i'll tell you with school starting now john this is something easy for moms to get the kids ready for school real quick you burn them you know brown them raw fries and throw the sausage on and the kids are off to school it works really good well guys mmm Sweet. That's really good. Isn't oh, that wow. great? And I'll tell you what, that's going to fill you up for musky fishing today. Hey, folks, look for Johnsonville Polish Kielbasa at your favorite retailer today. Well, day two up here in Longville, Minnesota, folks. And uh, I'll tell you what, we had quite a storm last night. Woke up this morning, we got lots of wind, and it's only 60 degrees. <laughs> it's a little cooler, totally different conditions. That is September, though, and that's why you love it. And uh, that was such a neat night last night, folks, to catch those two beautiful fish. And the one advantage that you really had with this headhunter is this glow tape. So when you're fishing at night, you can see when your lures come coming close to the boat. Really, really makes a difference, John. You know, I don't do as much night fishing as I used to, but the last 10 years that I guided, I almost really exclusively guided at night. About 60% of the time was after dark. It helped me, but it really helped my clients, you know, with it not being used to night fishing at all, to be able to see that lure coming. And you don't need a huge strip. That's, you know, something like that is enough on this, on this head hunter. Charge it up about every 15 minutes or so, you can see that bait coming. I mean, uh, maybe eight to 10 feet away, you can already see it coming. So it's really important to do a good figure eight. That big fish I got last night was just as I was coming and making that curve. That's when the fish hit. You know, possibly if you start figure eighting when you still got five feet of line out because you don't know where your lure is, you miss a fish like that. So it's really important to know that bait's coming, be able to see it like you would during the day to do a proper eight. Well, oh, that was classic last night because I didn't have it on my lure and half the time I'd start figure eighting before the bait was even near the boat. That's a big advantage. Yeah, it really is. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $10 on the Berkeley Lightning Rod Spinning Combo on sale for $49.99. Was he coming hard, Josh? Yeah, he was. Really? Nice fish? He didn't fish? open his mouth, but yeah, mid-40 for sure. She came pretty hard at first. I thought she was gonna go for it, but I don't know if she saw the boat or what. But. Boy, this is this is tough fishing in this wind. Isn't oh, it, it's, man? it's brutal. Well, hey, you just keep trying. And you'd think these fish would be up on the shallow rocks with the wind blowing up there, you know? You would think, but gosh, pretty much everything we've seen has been a little deeper. That was a nice fish? That was a very nice fish, yep. She came in pretty good, so. Got one. Fish! All right, Josh. All right, buddy. Here we go. Right. Musky Musco. Nicely done there, Josh. All right, oh, pal. Oh, look at him, buddy. Is he look good, Josh? <laughs> yeah, he looks uh, decent. All right, buddy. Well, we went, what, a couple hours there without seeing a fish, and bambo. Yep. Okay, in the clamor, maybe. He's going to take a little run. And... All right. All right. Hey, Josh. Nice job, buddy. 
Woo. Nicely done. Yeah. He smoked that pretty far out there, He huh? did. He hit it pretty far out. Was that plastic? Jerks. Yep, on a plastic, couple jerks, and he, he smoked it good. Well, you should tell the folks, you know, when you get into September like this, you get a migration of fish from the deep water into the shallower water, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what we're trying to time as the you know water gets colder and the nights get colder. They do slide up, and a lot of times some big ones slide up there, too. Yeah, and what they're doing is actually the bait fish. They're chasing young of the year, right? Yes, exactly. They're chasing them up into the Give me the, a pound. Oh, buddy, you All gonna right. go hold that one out? I am. Boy, is that a beautiful fish, Pretty gosh. fish. You know, not a long one, but no. again, the nice build on that fish, isn't it? Oh, beautiful build on it for being a, you know, kind of a smaller fish, but yeah, she's gorgeous. Kind of unique, man. We got the high skies today, and I'm gonna see what time it is right now. You know, it's, uh, uh, let's see, one o'clock, yep. and you really don't expect these fish to go on these high skies until later in the afternoon. No, exactly, and we haven't seen anything yet, so it's good to, good to get one to bite, but yeah, middle of the day, like this so we'll take it yeah beautiful nice fatty yep all, all right, right let's get it. awesome fish josh way to go pretty pretty now that was caught on this big old rubber bait and i'll, I'll tell you what we have the young guys throwing the big <laughs> rubber baits because they're heavy and what you're doing is actually ripping that huh just ripping it really fast let it dart down it, it sinks really fast so it gets down in those weeds you're just ripping it right out of there it takes a lot of effort oh it is but, it's tiring but the payoff is big exactly and you know actually pete our friends at, at savage make one that would be good in the weeds too and what's that one called this is called a burbot. You know, most people have seen, we've, we've done great vertical jigging with this as well. It doesn't fall quite as fast as some, but this is a good medium depth weed ripper as well. Same th technique Josh is talking about. You literally want to make contact, snap, 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 pop it out of there. It is a lot of work, but boy, a lot of times on tough days, I've seen it outperform anything else. Kalen's Pendu Jig features a patented free swinging hook. This feature gives any soft plastic or live bait an added action no fish has ever seen. As you jig it, swim it, the free swinging hook moves up and down, giving your bait or lure an unpredictable action. This jig also makes your live bait or plastic stand up when you pause it, imitating a feeding bait fish on the bottom that entices more bites. The Pendu Jig comes alive. Kalen's Pendu Jig is available in four sizes and 12 colors. So I noticed you're wearing blackfish just like me. Yes. What do you like about the blackfish gear? Well, I'm on the water 200 yeah. days a year easy, and I hate putting sunscreen on all the time. Me too. <laughs> with the UPF protection of the blackfish gear, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't have to screw around with the, the sunscreen or mm -hmm. anything like that. I'm protected all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about skin cancer or anything else that us fishing guides get. And it probably keeps you cool all day long. It does. Yeah. It, you know, it's just a very nice, cool feeling. And guess what? It's chemical free. So as many times as you wash it, you will still get protected. For more information, go to blackfishgear.com. What do you got there, Pete? <laughs> well, <laughs> ironically, I just raised a four footer on this bait and now I thought I had a little pike, but it's a, look at how pretty. A beautiful little guy here. I don't want to hurt him. No, over the years though, we've talked about it, folks. These uh, leech like straight Whoa. fish <laughs> are so beautiful when they're little. The spots are just cool. Yeah, they really are. He's a pretty fish. Boy, that is a beautiful fish, Pete, isn't it? Yeah, they really are pretty. Yeah, and I gotta, yeah, we should say five minutes ago, you had a 48 incher follow in. Yeah, yeah, the same bait, and this is definitely not quite the same class of fish. Now, the, the spots are just incredible, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they are just gorgeous. And fortunately, I didn't mess them up too bad, so. Cool. We'll let him go. Well, that's another muskie on this blustery day. Yeah. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> it get, yep, it's a muskie. Well, maybe three and a half we've got now. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. Randy Arneson of Marathon caught this 15-inch crappie on the spirit flowage on a minnow. Steve Vogel of Oregon, Wisconsin, boated this 22-inch smallmouth on Chiguamagon Bay on a sucker minnow. Jay Schreffler of Burnhamwood, Wisconsin, caught this 23-inch largemouth on Jack Lake on a leech. Dick Larson of Crystal Lake, Illinois, boated this 42-inch king salmon on 
Lake Michigan on a spoon. And this week's kids winners are Evan Johnson of McGuanago caught this 30-inch carp in Waukesha County on a crawler. And Maze Marchand of Chillicothe, Illinois caught this 15-inch crappie on Lake Geneva on a waxy. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, save $10 on the Abu Garcia Max Low Profile 5BB Black Max Reel on sale for $49.99. And save 25% on the Lakes and Rivers Tackle Bag on sale for $14.99. Ooh, what do you got there, Pete? What do you got, buddy? Well, we got a small muskie. Oh, there you go, buddy. Look at that. That's the second one on that bait, too, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? You know, it's surprising. I was just saying Josh had a follow a little bit ago, and I said, I can't believe that fish of yours didn't eat. And then this one ate. Well, we talked about that wind. We actually got out of the wind for a few minutes, and that was about the third cast in the new spot. But do you yeah. hear that thunder in the background? Yeah, yeah, well, that's why with the weather coming and stuff, but it's really pretty amazing uh, they, uh, that, uh, that there wasn't a window open already, but the, also the wind is just, even though this lake isn't that big, we literally came over here because I was worried about running out of power. I literally, with that great big Altera, 36 volt, couldn't hold the boat anymore. Now you were running on eight, nine, which is about as high as you can go for folks that don't understand a bomb out. Yeah. But this is another real pretty fish and he clobbered that too, didn't oh, he? Oh, he did, yeah, really clobbered it. Yeah. Well, there he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not my biggest, but a pretty little guy. And you should tell the folks, when you do got weather coming, that's an important time to really be putting in the effort. Yeah, absolutely. And that, on that note, let's get him going. And we're going to get back at it here because I think they're going to start moving. Yeah, we thought this rain was going to pass us, so we pulled over. We had some lightning. And look at this. We got some hail falling on my head. Yes. You know, you know this is the life of a true musky angler. Yeah. You got hail bouncing off you. <laughs> this is fun. Ooh, that's a nice size one there. Oh, here's a piece of hail. Oh, hail. Oh. <laughs> there you go. No, but seriously. Snowball fights. When you got when you got lightning and thunder, you want we can't get off the lake, but you want to get near where the highest trees are. Right? It was actually a lot quicker just to come over here. Yeah, you always choose the highest hill and park like right it? next to it and get hammered by hail. It's hail, fun. hail, hail, Pete. Hail, you, you gotta love this. I think they're getting bigger. <laughs> Johnson pump wash down kit to clean up after my messy dad. What'd you say, Blake? Oh, dad. I use my Johnson pump wash down kit to clean my dock and my pontoon. I use my Johnson pump to get the boat ready for tomorrow's clients. Learn about the many uses of the Johnson pump wash down at getjohnsonpumped.com. I want to thank you for a great time and your hospitality and I want to mention too uh, that this is a beautiful area up here with big lakes and small lakes and a great place to buy a cabin and you're the number one realtor up here in Longville, Minnesota and actually fall is a good time to buy. Fall is a great time, John, to buy. Yep. And that's because? Well, there's going to be a lot of listings coming on. People have used their cabins this summer or haven't used them and went, geez, we didn't use it, maybe we should sell. So there'll be a lot of good properties coming on in September and October and even in November. So if you go to rustiesupnorthrealty.com, you can sign up for an automatic alert. So you'll see every new listing as it comes on, no matter what realtor lists it, you'll see those new listings. And what is the web address? Rustiesupnorthrealty.com. And life is short. Buy a cabin. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Ah!